is the hashtag news now we thank you again for joining us deputy president regardi gashagwa has affirmed the kenya kwanza administration's commitment that 15 percent of the country's national annual budget will be channeled towards the healthcare sector living or uh, rather living to the pledge of the abuja declaration of 2001 where 180 heads of state agreed to the target to improve the health sector the second in command while well in kericho county to witness the implementation of afya nyumbani through the equipping of community health volunteers exuded confidence that the program will be a major boost to the country's primary health care under the universal health care. It is also a great occasion to witness the potential of the Kericho County Smart Primary Health Care Network, which is envisioned to transform health care service delivery through digitization of data. I congratulate Governor Mutari and his entire team in establishing this digital system. It already defined how we work for our people. Indeed, integrating digital technology is one of the best strategies of ensuring efficiency and effectiveness in service delivery. That the Ruto administration is investing in promoting preventive health care to the grassroots in collaboration with our counties. This is alongside the ongoing reforms in the National Health Insurance Fund to enhance access to quality health care as enshrined in our constitution. We are closely working with counties in establishing sustainable structures of promoting preventive health as envisioned under the universal health coverage. In this regard, we have allocated 141.2 billion Kenya shillings to the Ministry of Health, with at least 18.4 billion shillings going into the universal health coverage. We are determined to meeting and surpassing the minimum target of 15% of the national budget to the health sector as per the Abuja Declaration of 2001. Healthcare Network Tool, which Kericho County is in integrating into its healthcare system, will progressively contribute to data collection on various diseases and other medical conditions. In universal health coverage, my ministry officials and I, we did identify four main pillars that we are going to use to deliver universal health coverage. Your Excellency, we have the pillar on commodity security, which uh, the President launched on Friday. We want to ensure that if a Kenyan walks into a facility, facility. So we have capacity to build our institution, KEMSA, to ensure that we increase the field rates. Governor here will tell you when we came into office, the fill rate was 40, 50 percent if they did so well. But at the moment, we are headed towards 70 percent. And our plan, Your Excellency, is that in the next three months, we should be at 80 percent, headed to 100 percent in the next six months. And Your Excellency, we are supporting local manufacturing. Many people think that it's a joke, but they were able to showcase. And we have many, many manufacturers who have products here. And since we are deliberate, Your Excellency, the last tender that was put out by KEMSA, worth 5 billion, 2.5 billion, was ring fence for local manufacturers. That is how intentional we are. So we are moving very well on that pillar. Your Excellency, our second pillar, which we started discussion last week and shall be progressing through this week, is on our human resource for health. You know, you can have all the equipment you can have a perfect building, but if you don't have a health worker, it doesn't work. So we shall also be discussing how best do we have a motivated health workers and how do we manage them. We shall also be discussing the whole life cycle of a health worker, starting from production. And that corner there, Your Excellency, is one of our production units for health workers, Kenya Medical Training College. We are discussing how they move from there up to the time they work and up to the time. Now, the demolition of houses and structures.